Hey, how's it going? I am Buffalo Shane, and this is my homemade mini camper. Come check it out. So this is my mini camper that I built. I built it May and June of 2018. It is five foot wide by 10 and a half feet long. The exterior is finished with a monster liner truck bed liner. Gives it a nice finish and it's not full of rubber. It also is UV protected right out of the can. So, the frame itself, this it's a 2x2 two two steel that was ordered from Metal Supermarkets here in Buffalo, New York. And uh, the, tongue, the tongue mount, the, uh, the jack stand, the axles, which is a 3,500 pound axle, the tires, which are 15 inch tires, the fenders, and the LED running lights. We're all ordered from Southwest Wheel. I will put it in the descriptions of everything where I, where I got everything. I got the front cargo rack, which is from Harbor Freight. I'll take you around the passenger side here. So all the wood, which purchased from either Home Depot or Lenco Lumber in Buffalo, New York. We got a vent here, which you will eventually see on the inside. We got an exterior light and a window that slides open to a screen the windows were ordered off of ebay uh, the light and vent were ordered off of amazon we have four stabilizer jacks that pop down jacks on each corner for full stability when uh we're camping i said the running lights were ordered with the axle and everything from Southwest Wheel. Up here, we have Swagman RV Universal ladder racks, or roof racks, I should say, uh, ordered off of Amazon and cut down to size. We have our Renogy 100 watt solar panel with the Renogy wire housing. We got another jack there. This is the back galley, which one of the things I was I did wrong was I should have angled the, the galley because it is not high enough with me being six foot but let's open it up oh we I have this light which I purchased separately off of Amazon as well as the uh, license plate light so here's the back galley As you can see, it's a little bit short, depending on the terrain. So me being six foot, I have to kind of duck down in there, but it is what it is. We got three cabinets up on top, which is where I keep most of my little accessories. We got a wide shelf down there, and then we got my cooler department, which I'm still planning on putting a shelf and um, a slide out drawer in there for the cooler. In here, we have two six volt golf cart batteries uh, purchased from Batteries Plus and Bulbs in uh, Buffalo, New York. I don't even know how to say that, but it's an 1100 watt uh, inverter. We got our fuse panel right back there. We got our converter for shore power. We got the Wonder solar panel from Renogy. We got a 30 amp breaker going to that. We got our main shut off for all the fuses. We also have a 60 amp breaker back there. And just a little voltage meter I just kind of wired in. Um, so, wired to the inverter, we have a power strip. Then we have your cigarette lighter plug with two USBs. And then we have our LED light for in here. So, so far, um, I did have to replace 
those um, beginning of this year they the one decided to fail so I replaced them both we have all of the lights back here are LED we have the two inch hitch receiver for bike racks <clears throat> now come over here to the passenger side we have the Yaman or Yakom 8.2 by 8.2 awning which was like $130 off of Amazon we have our mount for our side table another window and here's our door with another jack one of the good things I did was I put a magnet on here which holds the door open uh, the windows do open up to the screens and then we take a look inside so there's a table that mounts on the on the side and that is the box I actually carry my uh, portable grill in and I flip it over and the girls my daughters use it as a step when uh, getting in and out of here so we'll start over here here's the light switches this one's for the outside porch lights which those are actually interchangeable front faces I prefer the yellow keeps the bugs away or not keeps them away but doesn't attract them and then we have the inside lights we have four USB plugs there and up here we got shelving which is normally where I keep like medical your flashlights and uh, stuff like first aid um, all that little handy stuff is usually up there I got these cabinets here which when traveling keep our chairs and other long items in there so this bin here was originally built for uh, tools and such but my daughters end up uh, putting their games in there this is just a little cabinet in there um, up here we got a nice big shelf for like my glasses cups um, anything else we want to put in there here's the inside vent and here's the LED lights which they do turn off individually having four of them in there makes it very bright in here here are the windows very easy to open um, then I do have my uh, curtain rods I did put the rubber matting down the workout matting it uh, adds a little extra softness to it and this is the cabinetry um, I was gonna put doors on it but decided to keep weight down this middle one here is actually uh, designed to fit a 19 inch TV and then we put our clothes and other stuff in there so down here we have another power strip and also is the on off switch for the inverter just kind of stuck it on there so that way I can turn it on and off if I forget while I'm in the in the camper all the interior wood is a birch ply that has been lacquered the walls are three quarter on the outside with a three quarter inch frame inside and then a quarter inch panel to close the sandwich and that's about it if you have any if you have any questions or need to know anything or want to ask me anything about the camper feel free to post them in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe this video. I will be posting another video once I uh, get it all loaded up, all, all the camping gear. Um, one more thing is the inside of this actually fits a full queen size bed plus a little extra leg room. It's actually uh, I think a six foot five on the inside. So 
Um, it fits me and my two daughters comfortably with all of our stuff. Uh, I designed it specifically for us to go camping and not be on the ground. So I hope you enjoyed my walk around video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe.